USS Nimitz, carrier of the nuclear-powered aircrafts, one of the largest warships in the world, the name which makes Russia and China tremble. What's USS Nimitz used for? What's so special in this ship that it strikes fear into the hearts of the enemies? USS Nimitz is a supercarrier of the US Navy, with an overall length of 1,092 feet, width of 244 feet, and a height of a 23-story building. It is undoubtedly one of the largest warships in the world. The ship weighs 100,000 tons and uses two nuclear reactors to provide virtually unlimited range and endurance. In contrast to the conventional use of gas turbines or diesel-electric systems found in many contemporary warships, the USS Nimitz employs two A4W pressurized water reactors for propulsion. These reactors drive four propeller shafts, enabling the ship to achieve a top speed of over 30 knots, which is equivalent to 35 miles per hour, with a maximum power output of approximately 260,000 shaft horsepower. Aren't you a little curious about the production cost of the ship? The unit cost is about US $8.5 billion in 2012 dollars, which equals US $10.2 billion in 2023. Currently, the ship has about 4,600 men and women on board. The mission of the Nimitz and its air wing is to conduct air operations while forward deployed in support of the maritime strategy. This ship is one of 10 nuclear-powered aircraft carriers in service with the United States Navy. This class is called the Nimitz class. The USS Nimitz is the lead ship of the class. They are categorized as nuclear-powered aircraft carriers and are classified and identified by consecutive hull numbers ranging from CVN-68 to CVN-77. Did you know the ship is named after a World War II Commander-in-Chief? It is named in the honor of Fleet Admiral Chester W. Nimitz, who achieved the highest rank in the United States Navy as Commander-in-Chief, Pacific Fleet during World War II. He was the last living U.S. Navy officer to hold rank. The first deployment of USS Nimitz was to the Mediterranean Sea along with the nuclear-powered cruisers USS South Carolina and USS California in November 1976. Second deployment was one year after that, on December 1977, again to the Mediterranean Sea. Both these cruisers were uneventful. It was on the third deployment in September 1979 that the ship got into action. It was moved to the Indian Ocean in response to the Iran hostage crisis. The U.S. Embassy in Iran was overtook and 52 hostages were held. Following a four-month deployment, the Nimitz initiated Operation Evening Light, aimed at rescuing the U.S. Embassy personnel. However, the mission had to be abandoned due to a helicopter crash occurring at an Iranian desert refueling point. As a result, the ship concluded its mission and returned home on May 26, 1980, making a total of 144 days at sea. Did you know a tragic incident happened in Nimitz is the reason for the mandatory drug testing of all U.S. military personnel? In May 1981, a crash happened on the flight deck. A Marine Corps EA-6B Prowler assigned to carrier Air Wong 8 was fuel critical and crashed on the flight deck. The tragedy took the lives of 14 crewmen and injured 45 others. The crash also resulted in damage of 19 other aircrafts from the fire and explosions. But the autopsy results of the killed deck crew showed positive for marijuana. It didn't have any connection to the incident, but it was a media hot topic. So the then-President Ronald Reagan instituted a zero-tolerance drug policy across all of the U.S. armed services. Among the American aircraft carriers in active service, Nimitz is now the oldest. The ships in Nimitz class have a lifespan of 50 years and they're planning to remove the USS Nimitz from the battle force in 2025. The latest deployment of USS Nimitz included the cruise to Eastern Pacific Ocean in May 2022 to the lead carrier strike Group 11. Five months later, in November 2022, Nimitz sailed to San Diego to pick up the carrier strike group leadership. In December 2022, Nimitz left San Diego for the Pacific deployment leading carrier strike group 11 and embarking carrier Air Wing 17. On April 22, 2023, USS Nimitz logged her 350,000th arrested landing. Two days later, on the 24th April 2023, Nimitz arrived in Liam Chabang, Thailand for a scheduled port visit and the cruise continues. With the help of nuclear power, the Nimitz is capable of operating without refueling for over 20 years. The ship also has a service life of over 50 years, so it's no wonder China stays at a distance.